up guys? Today I'm going to be programming my Gladiator with a Spectrum Smart Programmer V2. Um, before we start, two disclaimers. One, if you can see where you're at right now through the window, uh, my husband took my car and he has my tripod. <laughs> so that's the first one. Two, um, I don't like having my back to this window, but is the best place to film at night for right now. So if somebody comes up behind me, please let me know. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to be programming my Gladiator to give it a little bit better performance. When programming your car, it really comes down to personal preference. I'm going to show you what I like, but feel free to play around with the settings and figure out what works for you, what you like. Um, today, I'm going to be programming and focusing more on the crawling aspect. So the first thing you want to do is you want to plug in your program card. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, make sure that your battery is plugged in and this seems self-explanatory and simple uh, but you don't know how many times I've plugged the card in and turned it on and I'm like what the heck why doesn't it work the battery wasn't plugged in so so uh, when you plug the program card in it's not supposed to beep and turn on so yeah uh, I'm not sure why this isn't working uh, it's a Firma ESC, Firma program card. Huh. Well, what am I going to do now? Well, that is what I'm here to talk to you about today. So I initially bought the Spectrum card thinking it was going to work for a Spectrum ESC. Uh, it doesn't. <laughs> so um, this is the Spectrum Firma 40 ESC and you would think that card would work. It does not. So that is when I found the Dynamite program card, which also works. Or you could pick up a 1080 Hobbywing card and it works too. This one is just a little on the cheaper side, so that's why I went with this route. This card or the 1080 Hobbywing card can work in vehicles like the Capra, the Wrangler, the Gladiator, things like that. So you may be asking, why do you need to program your card? Well, you don't. It is great out of the box, but uh, it just improves performance a little bit more to adjust the settings. For example, I like to change the settings of the drag brake and the max reverse force. It can be a huge factor when crawling especially, and then later on in the video I will show you some clips of the differences between stock and then programmed. Okay, so just like the other card though, you do plug it in and then turn the car on and it should come to life. And so you have your value number, which is like what you're changing. And then the right number is like the setting that you're going to change. I have a little cheat sheet on my phone, which I will link in the description box below. So basically I have a sheet that tells me what all the values are. And then I also have one that shows me the stock values. So that's what I'm going to be referring back and forth to. Um, like I said, I will link it in the description box below though, so you have it handy in case you're not actually doing this right now and you're gonna do it later. So number one is running mode. And basically it's, you have three settings. It's one is forward and brake, two is forward reverse brake, and three is forward and reverse. So if you, Let's say you are racing, that's when you typically will have one because they don't really like you using reverse and racing. And for two, I have it on my TRX4 because it's like more in trail mode. But for the Gladiator, I'm going to put it at three for strictly crawling. So you can just see here that the value is one. We're working with running mode and then I have it set to three. Okay, number two is battery type and this one is pretty self-explanatory it's either lipo or nickel metal hydride and obviously this is a lipo battery so i will just change the value to two and it should already be at one for lipo number three is voltage cutoff and they don't specifically tell you what the cutoff is it's like between 3.2, 3.4, 3.6, it's like somewhere around there. They have it set to medium and I'm just going to leave it at medium because it seems like a good place. Number four is startup force. 
and I actually didn't know what I wanted here, so I did a little test, and I will insert that footage. <laughs> I decided that I liked two. Um, I started with one, obviously. I went to like three or four, and then I went, I wasn't noticing too much of a difference, so I went to eight, and I decided that I liked two, so. Number five is Max Forward Force, and you kind of obviously want this at 100%, unless you are giving it to a child, and depending on the child, you may want to bring it down a little bit, um, but otherwise, I like to keep mine at 100%. Number six is max reverse force. Now, stock, it's set to 100%. That means you have full throttle in reverse. Um, I don't like that because I either typically end up hitting things or sometimes people, like my husband. <laughs> um, so I like it at 50%. But I'm curious, if anybody else likes it at 100%, please let me know in the comments below why, because I'm really curious about why people would use 100 versus 50, but for me, personal preference, I like 50%. Number seven is Max Brake Force, and they have it set at stock to 100%, and I just leave that there. I, I like it at 100%. Number eight is Initial Brake Force, and I have mine set to value one, which is zero, and I like to keep it there because it's just how much force do you want at the start of braking. So nine is the Drag Brake, like I was talking about earlier. They have it stock at 70%. I like it at 100 because when you're going down a steep hill, if it's not at 100, it can just roll, but when it's at 100, it just stops. Number 10 is drag brake rate control, and that's basically just how fast you want the drag brake to kick in. And they have it set to four, and I just leave it at four as well. It just seems like a good place. Number 11 is neutral range, and it's basically just how sensitive your throttle and brake are. And I think, I can't remember what they have it set to. They have it set to six. Uh, I set it to four. That's just what I like, personal preference. And number 12 is start mode and like punch level. So basically when you hit the throttle, how much power do you want? Um, so you kind of want to set it lower. Okay, for example, my slash. When I have, like when it's set high um, and you hit that throttle, like it just fishtails and goes crazy. So for crawling, it's okay to set it at like a six or a seven, but if it's not for crawling or like trail mode or anything, I would definitely set it lower. So um, I have mine set to five, but I am actually going to up that to six for right now. 13 is PWM frequency. It's basically just the frequency that the ESC is talking to the motor. They have it set to 8K. I do know that people go up to the 16K. Um, I keep it at 8K just because I have a fear of my car overheating. Um, so when you go up higher, you really got to pay attention to things. So I just like to keep it at stock at 8K. And the last one, number 14, is freewheeling. Now, this one was a big debate. So I'm going to try to explain this. Freewheeling is basically when you have the drag brake to 100% and you're on a hill. And if you have the freewheeling disabled, as soon as you hit that throttle, the car is just going barreling down the hill. But if you have the freewheeling enabled, when you hit the throttle, it has a little more control. And I actually did an experiment on this too because I thought it was opposite. 
And so I thought having it disabled was helpful and then I enabled it and I was like, yeah, this is awesome. So after you have changed all your settings and gotten them to where you like them, you just hit the OK button to save everything. Don't forget that or your stuff will not save. And then you turn the car off, unplug it. Pretty self-explanatory. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, um, there's a lot of things that you can change for your driving style. Um, it all just basically comes down to personal preference. Like I said, out of the box, it's great. But um, when you start getting a little more experienced, you might notice a few things that you're like, wow, I wish that was different. And drag brake is a huge one for me. I didn't realize how big it was until I started like getting into the programming stuff. So yeah, feel free to mess around with settings. Um, but if you don't really know what something is, it's best to just leave it at stock. Um, like if you don't know where you want it, it's best to just leave it at stock. But definitely play around with things, but yeah. So, I hope this video was helpful. Um, I know my dad and I did a lot of research trying to find a card that worked because you would think that the Spectrum Firma would work for the Spectrum Firma. It doesn't. Um, I should mention that there is talk of an update coming where that card will work, but for right now, um, the Dynamite and the 1080 Hobby Wings are the only cards that I have found that work. There may be more, but these are the only two that I have found. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys like the content that I'm putting out and you want more of it. And go ahead and hit that red subscribe button if you are not subscribed already. I try to upload every Friday at 2 p.m. Central Time. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!